the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So blessed to be here with this, the mother of God's family. I was here before when I was deacon, when I was seminarian, and I'm blessed to be here to share what the Lord wants me to share with you so you could be nourished from the word of God and I too, I could be nurse, nurse from the same word. Something I always trust, that God could do everything and that God could preach to every single one of you. I don't know you all, I know a few of you, but the Lord knows every single one here and he knows you inside out. That's why I beg him and beseech him to, and I tell him, Lord, take me away from this place now. I'm not worthy. This is your people. This is your family. You could reach to every single one of them. I could talk to a few of them here. I know them. But still you know them better than me. So take me, hide me somewhere so you could be able to preach. And you are always to preach to your family, to reach to their hearts, minds, and souls and heal them. We all are wounded. And the wounds that we have to blacken us from the kingdom of God. That's what the Lord wants us to do. He said, do not worry about anything. Don't be anxious. Don't think of anything. One thing I want to ask you to do. Seek my kingdom. That's what he said. And instead, seek his kingdom, and these things will be added to you. What things he's talking about? Things that we are worried about. About life. What's going to happen tomorrow if I lose my business? What's going to happen if something happened to my family? What's going to happen to me if I'm going to be able to work? If I'm not going to pass this exam? If I live single for the rest of my life? What's going to happen to me? Many things we worry about. Now, the Lord said here today, Do you trust me that I was taking care of you before? Think of your life. Was the Lord able to take care of us yesterday and before? How about today? He's able. And that's what he told us. Imagine yourself sitting with the Lord and his disciples 2,000 years ago. When they asked him, teach us how to pray. We were sitting with them. Imagine that. And he said, that's what I want you to say. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. First thing he wants us to ask for is kingdom. And then he said, give us this day our daily bread. The kingdom comes first. His kingdom. Now, how could I be? If, he, if we ask in him now for his kingdom to come, that means God wants us to ask him because he is able to bring his kingdom to us. What's in his kingdom that we needed here? What's over there? What the angels and the saints are enjoying in his kingdom? If not, great and perfect joy. Great and perfect peace. Great and perfect love. Peace, joy, and love. That's what's in his kingdom. That's what we're going to enjoy when we reach to his kingdom. But now, he said, ask me. This is Jesus is telling us to talk to his father. He said, that's what you say. Say, our father. So we are talking to the father. And we are asking him for his kingdom to be here with us. Because we have joy, we have peace, we have love. But it's fake. It's the earthly one. The worldly one. That comes from that world. And we know it's not going to stay. But the peace, the joy, and love that comes from God will stay with us. And will we will have it complete and perfect when we reach to his kingdom. But the Lord wants us to ask him now. But what lacks us from the joy, peace, and love that God wants to provide us? Many problems and issues we have in our life. That was one of them. Anxious about many things. Imagine if that problem goes away from us. If you're not worried, if you're not anxious, what are you going to see? We have many gifts and graces in our life, and we see them. 
We know that the Lord blessed us in many, many ways. But I want you to ask, and we're all going to ask the Lord to show us the gifts and the graces that we never seen in our life. We have them, but we never seen them. We all are blessed with many gifts that are unseen, but we have them. The Lord wants us to enjoy them, but why we don't see them then? Let's think of it. Is it because of the problem that we have, the sins that we fall into, that sins or temptations or struggle that's covering all the gifts that God gave us and we haven't even discovered them? I could give you good examples. Imagine of a person, the extreme point of anger, and let's confess that, all of us. Not all of us, but the majority of us, I would say. Let's confess the anger. It's something that comes with a Chaldean package, isn't it? Right? When we born, they give us a package and you open and you see the anger on the top of everything. You gotta deal with it. Right? Do we have it? Yes, we do. Most of us. We do. How could we take care of it? if not asking God to help us to take this anger away from us because we're not able, we always fall short and we, we use this anger to damage our life first and then other people's life. Now, when I said there's many things that blocks us from the kingdom of God, blocks us from seeing the gifts that God gives us, this is one of them. Imagine if you take the anger away from your life or from the person that you know. If that person asked the Lord to take the anger away from him, what are you going to see underneath it? That person never had quiet times. Well, he's always angry. Take the anger away from him. What are you going to see under this, underneath this anger? Gifts that we never seen before. Good heart, sincere heart, person who loves, who, who's very, very good with everybody, nice to everybody, gentle in everything he say, I never seen this person like this. Now I see it because that struggle that he had is gone. We need to see the gifts that God gave us. And the only way we could see them if we ask God to help us to take all the temptations, struggles, problems that we have. That's one thing. Just as example, I said it because we struggle with it. How about being anxious and worried about many things? If that goes away, what are we going to see underneath it? Trust in God? Peace? I'll be in more peace? I'll be more happy? Yes. I'm covering all these problems that I have, I'm not in peace because I don't know what's going to happen to me. I've been struggling with this, this, this. I don't, I don't want to name many things that we are struggling with as a community, as a culture. You know them. Every one of us knows his own struggle. Can we ask the Lord to help us to take this struggle away so we could be able to see the gifts that God gives us and then we will be able to see his ask the Lord to bless us and to help us and to take away from us all the struggle, all the pain, all the things, all the sins that stops us from being in union with him. Let's ask him so we could be one with him. Can we trust God? I think we should. Until today, I look back in my life and I see I haven't accomplished any, any things without him. Can I trust him with more? With us, human being, it's so hard to trust the person 100%. It takes time. But with God, we should trust him perfectly, without numbers. He's God. He's God. He showed us many, many signs that he loves us. How could not trust him? 2,000 years ago, he died on the cross for us to show us how much he loves us. Was that enough for us? Was that enough for me, for most of us, for all of us? Yes, this is enough. 
But he said, no. I could show you more and more and more. Before I was crucified on the cross, I came down for you. I humbled myself. I humbled myself, became one like you. So I could show you how much I love you. And then I went to the cross and I died on the cross. And is that enough for you? We said, yes, of course, Lord. This is plenty. And he said, no, this is not enough. I'm going to show you more. I'm going to trust you. God trusts us. How could not trust him? How did he trust us with? What did he trust us with, you think? Give a guess. Anybody. What do you think? What did he trust us with? He gave us the Eucharist. He said, this is my body, this is my blood, my soul and my divinity. I'm going to leave it with you. That's how much I trust you. He left us everything. The Lord trusts us with his body and blood, soul and divinity so we could be nourished every time we come to the Mass so we could receive him and be one with him. He trusts us with everything. Can we trust the Lord? That's the question what we need to meditate on and see what he has done for us, what we need to do in order to be one with him. God bless you all.